the title of today's training is the ABCs of non-surgical spinal decompression. If I'm you, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to do two things. Number one, I'm gonna take out a pad of paper and I may not take notes the whole time, some of you will, but what I'm really looking to do, if I'm you, is I'm looking for that special something. I'm looking for something to tip the scales, to move the needle. In other words, to allow me after this training today to be able to go back to my patients and to be able to communicate better, to be able to educate better, and really to wow them. This has always been a game about wow. And if you wanna talk about wow, you can talk about the person that I'm going to introduce who's going to be doing this training here today because he is all about the wow. The other thing that I would do, remember, I said two things. The other thing I would do without question is I'm going to shut this off. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to get out of my phone. I'm out of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, whatever you're doing. I'm out of that. I'm locking the door. I am going to be in what we call PTC, present time consciousness, because this content is so topical and it is so informative and it is being delivered by, I'm gonna call him the King of Kings today. He is the King of Kings. In other words, when it comes to the study of spinal disc disease, when it comes to the study of non-surgical spinal decompression, he's the King of Kings. If you could show me somebody better, I'd love to see it. The reality is this. The reality is nobody brings a better, a better, package in terms of knowledge, content, education, tools, and more. And he is the creator of the National Spinal Decompression Certification Program, which is being held this year for the first time ever at my alma mater. I'm a little juiced if you can't feel it. I'm a little excited. Life University in November, super, super exciting. This is the same program that you know about. This is the number one most popular CEU program in the history of chiropractic colleges, meaning it's the largest attendance, and that's been validated since 2012, where this program has been taught at Parker University. It is such an honor to have because, as you know, I just get a chance to sit back and listen to all the goodness, all the golden nuggets, all the juice, all the momentum of the one and only Dr. Eric Kaplan. The floor is yours, my brother. You know, life, life is going to be exciting. Uh, life is exciting. Uh, we just got a commitment from Dwayne Clemens. Dwayne was the captain of both the Bengals and the Chiefs in the NFL. Very big chiropractic component. Actually, for the first time, he shared his world, excuse me, his Super Bowl ring with Dr. Barn and myself the other night. And, you know, he'll, he'll be there and, and signing autographs and taking pictures. And, you know, it, it's just a great thing of, of what we can do a, a, as a chiropractor. I mean, you know, and you know, we, we've moved away. I mean, you know, you can look at this thing here and, uh, you know, we started this, but I, I have so much to give you today because, you know, I, I got to take a pause for a second and say, you know, there's, you know, there's three types of people in, in the world. There are the initiators, there are the imitators, and then there are the idiots. Who said that, Dr. Bard? <laughs> I'm going to say that it's the guy that invented Virgin Airways. That's exactly right. So imagine, why do we say that? Because you see, chiropractic has become diluted. Think about this, that in the United States of America, 75% of all medications are produced in the world are consumed. We consume 75% of all the medication consumed in the world. So for those, like Eli, you and I that were raised straight versus mixer. I mean, you know, you gotta understand something. Are we winning or are we losing? I mean, and, and, and that's the thing that we have to come into today. See, what we have to talk about, what we have to talk about is the dynamics of the subluxation. You know, this was a chart that I had in, in every one of my seven offices. And, and this chart was amazing because I used to love to go through it. I used to say, well, you know, this is not a normal neck looks like this. But, you know, if you look at the fourth phase of degeneration, where did the discs go? And then where did the patients go? Do you know that, let me give you some facts. Daily, 6.5 million people are bedridden due to back pain. 
5.4 million Americans are disabled. Back pain is the second most common reason for hospitalizations. Now, obviously, I'm giving you pre-pandemic stats, but I mean, that's an amazing thing. Do you know that, that, you know, that, that after the cold, the flu, okay, one of the most common causes for hospitalizations, people going to the emergency room is back pain, back pain. So to me, what, one of the things that we teach all the time is that the, the, the progression of a subluxation, you know, a bulge, a subluxation becomes a bulge, which becomes a herniation. So let's talk about teeth. Basically, somebody has a cavity. The cavity gets a filling. If the decay continues, they end up with a root canal. And then eventually, they can end up with an implant. Now I say this because Dr. Bard's son is in dental school, and he's already doing extractions, he's designing teeth. I mean, they understand in dentistry the progression of disease. And I'm telling you, and I say this because I don't think that we did that when I was in school. And I'm not going to say, listen, I'm not going to tell anybody here I graduated magna cum laude. I graduated loud. I said, Dad, I did it. You know, that's all I cared about. Making it through the, the, the process. You know, dealing with people that, you know, half the teachers didn't even like us. You know, and what I'm saying is we forget in the third to fourth phase of generation what happened. So a subluxation becomes a bulge and a bulge becomes a herniation. But the problem is, doctors, if you're just treating them for a subluxation and you're not treating them for a bulge and you're not treating them for a herniation, you are feeling the Bogdok study, it's actually the Bogdok Burton study says the damage, the damage to the disc happens long before there is pain. Let's repeat that. The Bogdok Bogdok study says the damage happens. Now, you have to know, you have to know in detail all the dynamics of the disc. But I'll tell you what we do know, that the disc is 87% water, that we do know that the inner layers of the annulus go first. What we do know is the weakest structure, according to the McGill study, is flexion. Now watch this. Did you know, doctors, 83% of all back injuries happen why the patient is in flexion? Now that could be standing and leaning forward. That could be sitting and slumping, okay? That could be standing and, and bending over wrong, but forward. So imagine 83% why? Because we know, doctors, and we're going to go through this at Life University. Remember, you see, my father used to say the road to success is always under construction. I admire everybody that's here today for being here. And, and I give you all, if I could, I'm going to take my hand. And I'm giving you all a pat on the back and saying, way to go, because we need to change this country one back at a time, one disc at a time, because failed back surgery syndrome, doctors, is epidemic. And you're not changing it. When you see people like Tiger Woods has four back surgeries, and you see people like James Kahn is now in a wheelchair, and, and John Hurd, the father at Home Alone, died after back surgery. Are you kidding me? Every person in your community that goes to back surgery, they didn't know. You didn't educate them. You know, the old thing, oh, a hard bone. Listen, I get the philosophy, but, you know, chiropractic is a science. Chung Ha Su really said it well. Subluxation is very real. We have documented the extent that no one can dispute its existence. Vertebral subluxation changes the entire health of the body. The weight of a dime on a spinal nerve reduced nerve transmission by as much as 60%. The weight of a dime. So you wonder why people come in with such serious back pain. You wonder why that spine surgery. You want to, you, uh, is everybody sitting down? Good, because I don't want you to fall down. Everybody, please sit down. Do you know that the second most common surgery is spinal surgery in the United States? Are you kidding me? And, and we have, listen, I say this all the time. The fact is the middle class of chiropractic has gone away. I mean, so if you understand that a subluxation becomes the bulb, becomes herniation, how does your treatment differ? How does it differ? And let me tell you something. If I had to do another little box on the bottom there, I would put neuropathy. Why? Because let me tell you something. When I was in school, if somebody said, oh, I got pain and tingling in my legs, what came to me? Sciatica. But you know what? Could they have neuropathy? So what we're learning and what our clinics are doing 
okay, is many times decompression cases become neuropathy cases. And many times neuropathy cases become decompression cases. I'm gonna say that neuropathy is the stepsister to Cinderella. But how do you know how to diagnose it? Ah, and that's what we work on doing. Because see, you gotta understand doctors, the days of, of, of fluff is over. I mean, a lot of people don't even know what, what non-surgical spinal decompression is. I mean, so what you have to realize is what it is first. I mean, basically it's gonna be spinal distraction without muscle contraction. Spinal decompression is an event, it's not a machine. Now, yes, there are some piece of equipment that are better than others. And what I look for in a piece of equipment is, listen, go to look at that 510K and go to look at the research studies formed on their machine. If there are no research studies on their machine, let me explain something. Medical doctors today and offices throughout the United States, they're now performing, they're performing spinal decompression. I just watched a video from the DRX 9000, which is Excite Medical, showing some medical doctors, MDs now, trying to get into the world of decompression. Well, they stole nutrition from a lot of us. I mean, when I was, when I graduated, oh God, when I graduated, I think in 1978, and I started doing talks, and I started talking about vitamins and nutrition. Listen, I heard quack so many times, quack, 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 quack. I thought I was a duck, I swear to God, I thought I went to duck school. I had to look at my ass for feathers. Thank God there were no feathers on my butt, but I, I was scared. I mean, listen, I remember doing my first lecture, right? And, and here I am talking about like vitamin C and, and I'm doing, and then I remember someone yells out from the audience, when do we eat? When do we eat? And I realized, hey, they would never do that to a medical doctor. Because you know what? We, we spent too much time, doctors, working on the philosophy and not the science. Spinal decompression is a science. And I have spent the last 20 years or more of my life working on this because it didn't exist when I went to chiropractic school. But you know what? I realized one day, okay, that the event is, again, when you have spinal distraction without muscle contraction. I mean, that's so amazing to understand that, that when you can realize that, because what you want to do is you want to offset the proprioceptors. You do not want the proprioceptors to have to target it in, into the body. I mean, you have to understand that spinal decompression is an event much different than traction. So how do you know? Well, I'll tell you why. One of the studies that was done, okay, was the Nackerson study, where they used transducers, okay? And that was followed, the Nackerson study was followed by the, the, the Shirley Bergmeier study, where they found no positive changes. Because what you start to get into that Dr. Nackerson started to work on is we start working on negative disc pressure, okay? It's like through a manipulation, they feel that they can get to maybe, you know, a little bit of, of, of disc pressure. But Ramos and Martin study, which was done by transducers, okay, they got it to 160 millimeters mercury. So it's measured in, in, in mercury. So you have to understand. So how do they know that it takes place? Because they, they've watched it. Negative disc pressure. So, and they find that, that traction, if you look at the Chen study, the Chen study shows that traction can cause positive disc pressure, even prolapse of the disc. So there is a very big difference. So how do you know? You have the Chen study. How do you know? You have the Shirley Bergmeier study. How do you know? You have the Nagelson study. I mean, you have to know your studies. And I'm not citing studies from, from chiropractic universities. These are from leading medical doctors throughout the world, people. I mean, and, and you have to understand, don't think that we're winning as chiropractors. You understand, seven out of 10 Americans take prescription drugs. That's from the Mayo Clinic, not from Sherman Chiropractic College, not from Life Chiropractic College, seven out of 10. The average 45-year-old takes four different prescriptions. So don't think you're winning as chiropractors. Oh, well, we're the natural science. Well, you know what? Let me explain to you something. You're either isolated or you're integrated because medicine is a trillion dollar industry and you're either involved or not. I can tell you sincerely, my son gets 30% of his cases, okay, are post-surgical, post-surgical. So now we utilize certain types of technologies like, like electroanalgesias or machines that we love called the matrix. We utilize the best decompression machines because when we get referrals, and we get a lot of referrals from medical people, that started with, with Rob Burke. He wanted to see the medical research, not the chiropractic research, the medical research. So we provide research from John Hopkins. We provide the Leslie from Mayo Clinic. We provide the, the Stanford studies. 
So there's a lot of studies that we're going to do. And the good news, doctors, is we're going to give a lot of these out in, in, in November. And you're going to meet a lot of our clients. You don't realize we had one client, and, and when she started with us, she was doing $50,000 a week. She had $100,000 a week. Can you imagine that? Now, I'm going to tell you humbly, I never had $100,000 a week. Well, not while I was in practice, but that's the whole other story. But the fact is, $100,000 a week, I mean, that's what we do. We have people with 12 tables, 10 tables, 7 tables. So you know what? Listen, this is the way chiropractors are. Let me tell you the chiropractic story. Chiropractors say, I should have done this. I should have done that. I should have done this. I should have done that. I should have done this. I should have done that. And you know what I say? Stop shooting all over yourselves. Just go out there and do it. Take a grasp of, of what's out there because the medical doctors are failing in a business. Seniors, 80 to 84 years old, take 18 prescription medications. And I, you know, I love the doctors say, oh, I want, all I'm getting are Medicare leads. Well, guess what? Because they have bad backs. That's why you get Medicare leads. So they got money. So they leave a little less to their kids. So they leave 5,000 less to their kids. Their kids won't miss it. They'll probably spend it on drugs anyway. If you look at the numbers, are you kidding me? Spinal decompression is the number one specialty. You know, Perry and I teach all the time, why be just a dentist? If within your license, we can make you an orthodontist. You know, when I'm, when I'm at Trump and I'm on the board there and, and I walk around all the time and I'm, I'm, I'm not giving any political stories today. I don't know why anyone understands how I'm thinking. You know, I don't know how this got here. But the point is, we're not talking politics today. However, if you want to talk politics, we know now that chiropractors do have veteran benefits because of a proclamation that Trump signed. But do you realize for 100 years, chiropractors couldn't get VA benefits? Are you kidding me? Don't tell me about the ICA and the ACA. And the, you know, I want to tell you, I want to talk about discs. I want to talk about the DIC. Right, because to me, DC stands for decompression chiropractor. The DR in front of your name says demand respect. I walk around all the time, people say, what do you do? I said, I specialize in disc injuries, okay? In the last week, we just took care of, hey, there's my guy, we just took care of Ben Taylor from, from the PGA Tour, okay? He almost won last week. Why? Because he comes up to me at Trump, he says, I hear you the disc guy, and I referred him off to my son. I mean, that's the beauty. My son is 34 years old. He already has three decompression tables. He'd have four if he'd get rid of his damn kitchen. Kid likes to eat more than work. Spinal decompression <laughs> allows you to utilize technology to treat spinal disc. And we utilize a certain modalities with it. We, we like electroanalgesia. We like laser. And guess what? There's money in all of those. You can make money in this profession. Let me tell you something. Perry and I discuss this all the time. The middle class of chiropractic has gone away. It's gone away. It's, it's, it, it, they're starving out there, you know? And then you got the PI guy. Well, let me give you, you want more PI business? How's this, Eli? I had a feeling you'd be here, you son of a bitch. So I'm gonna tell you something, Eli, because I miss you so much, I can't put it into words, so I won't. But with that said, do you know that the Joe study, Eli, the Joe study shows that after an accident, a lot of times the symptoms will not appear till three months after the accident. Wow, that's the Joel study for pain. But hold on, I'll give you a better study. The Bogdok Schafferman study shows that 40%, are you listening to this doctors? 40% of all whiplash injuries will end up with degenerative disc disease within five to 10 years. What percent? 40%. So listen, you wanna get PI work? Talk to the attorneys and let them know that you're a disc specialist. Let them know about the Schafferman study. Let them know about the Bulger Schafferman study that's going to show that 40% of these cases are going to be fine. How do you do permanent impairment? What we're going to do in Life University, we're going to go over different tables. I mean, if, if you look at the top, those are my favorite three, the Acuspina, the DRX, and, and the vaccine. But you're going to see a very big difference. If you look the one all the way in the corner right, that's, that's the old vaccine, and you can see it's in a supine position, okay? I mean, prone position. They don't do it in that position anymore. If you look at the first two studies, you're going to see them in the supine position. Why? Because Sheely did a study, and when they were doing that, when he was on the vaccine, he dislocated his shoulder. Now, Dr. Sheely 
okay, is one of the most published. He is actually the most published in spinal decompression in the world. He graduated Duke University Medical School and he taught at Harvard University, you know, and he has more studies published on non-surgical spinal decompression than anybody. So when you look at the bottom tables, when you start to move the body around, if you look at the lower left-hand corner, and we're going to go over this in great detail at Life University, you can't alter the spine it, as far as, look at they they're raising the person up and they're raising them up. They're almost putting that woman in flexion. That's putting the disc in a troubled position. She's almost in flexion, where now what happens in flexion is the nucleus kind of moves backwards. As the nucleus moves backwards, it starts to put pressure all the way on the annulus. So how do you think you develop a bulge? And then a bulge becomes a herniation. So heck, we, some of us don't even know how to treat them. The most common spinal decompression tables, doctors, you know, are the active spine of DRX and vaccine, but I'll tell you why. They have the most medical research. Frank DCS, Hill, Spine Med, they're out there. Listen, we will discuss all of these tables in it. If you want info on setting table angles, knowing how to belt, knowing how to pull, et cetera, you have two choices. Two, two choices. One, choice is you can call Perry Bought Up. Yeah, say Perry. What are, <laughs> you can check with your manufacturer and or, just see if you're awake, brother, and or, and, and or, <laughs> attend Life University Spinal Decompression. <laughs> you know, who has more fun than us? Honestly, I mean, come on, who's having more fun than us? And, uh, let me see here if I can do this for a sec. Can I do that? There we go. How about that? Not too bad, right? So um, yes, you have two choices here. Number one, if you bought a table and you're not sure how to use it and you want to maximize it, call your manufacturer. But that's really choice two. Choice number one is what you really want to do is you want to get your hands on the latest, greatest training. And that latest, greatest training will be held one time per year. It is held for the first time ever at Life University. Uh, which is the inaugural program. You only get one chance to actually be in an inaugural program. But I'm going to tell you why. If, if I'm you, in other words, if I'm you guys, there's something, there's actually something that I would do that's actually a little bit better than that. What I would do is this. What I would do if I were you is, let me see if I could do this here really quick, if I can actually show this to you here. Um, I don't know if I could do this. Let me see if I could do it. Um, Let's see. Oh, how about that? Not too shabby, right? Wow. <laughs> That's not too bad, right? So uh, I'll tell you what I would do. Tell me if you can see this. All right. If you can see this right now, I don't know if you can. Can you see this right now? Um, let me see if you can. I'm not sure. I'm showing my screen right now. Um, maybe, maybe. Oh my gosh. Look at all you people. Oh my gosh. There's so many people here. Okay, so <laughs> how about this one? Let me try this one here um, because there's something I want to show you here. And um, let me see if I can do it. I don't know. It's not letting me do it, but I get, I'll tell you why. I'm going to figure it out because that's what we do. I'm going to figure it out. Here it is. You ready? Let's go. Ready? Tell me if you can see this. Can you see that? Yay! All right, all right. All right. So. Today is, whether you thought about it or not, today, doctors, is really a business meeting. So if I'm sitting on this webinar right now, Zoom meeting, there's two things that I want. Number one, I want knowledge. I want research. I want content. I want tools. I want to get it from the source. Well, heck, if you could show me a better source, I'd love to see it. There's nobody more knowledgeable in this profession. Nobody has a better resume in the area of spinal disc disease, non-surgical spinal decompression, but more importantly, how to make this a very profitable business than Dr. Kaplan. On October 24th, and I don't know if you could see this. Can you see this? There it is. On October 24th of this year, coming up in about four weeks, the last training of 2020 will take place here at a five-star location. The name of the location, it is the Trump National Golf Club in Jupiter, Florida. It is a private event. It is a closed-door event. 
And what happened prior, just so you know, to make you privy to today's um, events, is Dr. Kaplan pulled off five seats, five seats today to start the day. However, before we started this webinar, I was told that now there's no longer five seats, there's actually four seats left. So the doctors that are on this webinar right now, this Zoom meeting right now, have first access, and I have a very strong feeling, if it's like the last one we gave, that all four seats will be gone by the end of the training. What you wanna do is you wanna to go to www.thecairoevent.com. It is, I promise you, with all my heart, the best $99 you will ever spend in your life. You will learn about the business of spinal decompression. You will learn about the business of disc disease. You will learn about the business of neuropathy. You will learn in one single day how to position yourself, how to market yourself, how to bridge, how to maximize your demographic. And this is for you, Dr. Vito and Mariana. I'm so glad that you're on this right now, live with us here today, because you, my friend, said it perfectly. And when you said it, what were the first words out of my mouth? I agree. Your demographic is important. You put one doctor in one area, he'll crush it. You put in the same doctor in another area, he's gonna have to work harder. So isn't it nice to have ammunition? The reality is that at the Cairo event, it is about one thing. It's about ammunition, giving you enough tools, giving you enough content, giving you enough research, and giving you enough marketing that on Monday you can go back to your office and you can really, really start doing what you were designed to do, which is to get your message out to the largest populace in your demographic. That's the fun of what we do. That is the fun of being in the right place at the right time with the right message, with the right content, with the right tools. Where do you get that? You get that at the Cairo event. It is October 24th. Do whatever you can to grab your seat. 99 bucks, best money you'll ever spend in your life. I can spend the whole day talking about it. I think you kind of know that. But I'm going to save that for the very end because I actually have a very, very special surprise for doctors here today that are able to grab a seat. First time ever, I'm gonna show it at the end of the Zoom meeting. And uh, it would be, actually it is our gift to you and more. So very, very cool. And what I wanna do is I wanna go back to, I wanna go back to this study here. Tell me if you can see this here. Can you see this? Let's see if you can see this now. Come on, baby. <laughs> Let's see. Bring your window to the front. I don't know if you can see this. Let me see. Holy cow. Let's try this. There we go. There we go. How about that? Not too shabby. All right. Back at you, my brother. So, you know, it, it, it's a very, you know, that was a little bit of, of a good commercial. But you know what we, you know, listen, I would be lying to anybody on the Zoom meeting if, if I didn't have a, a message and I wasn't selling something. I'm, I'm, I am. I'm selling a better life for chiropractors. I'm selling a better image for chiropractors. I am educating chiropractors of how they can get paid for what they do. I am teaching chiropractors to walk with their head up high. I am teaching chiropractors that when it comes to, to the history of, of chiropractic that we need to take it forward. I mean, the De Palma Rothman study, professors of orthopedic surgery have this to say, many of the patients that are subjected to numerous operations after the patient is worse. That according to that study, 70% still had back pain four years to 17 years after surgery. That having more than one back surgery it is not different. And you know, I've had the honor Oh my God, the phone calls I had with, with Dr. Dyer. I mean, you know, you, I, this was not learned by osmosis. This was not taught while I was in school. You know, this was taught because I did have, you know, my own disc injuries and issues. Dr. Dyer was the former Deputy Minister of Health in Canada. Dr. Dyer also developed the defibrillator, but he was the, the original founder. And then Dr. Dyer started working with, in the initial tables with, with with Norman, with Norman Shealy. And you can see how it was done. I mean, initially, you know, what you can see is they have, they have there because they have transducers. They're actually doing in the research, they're trying to find out when do you get negative disc pressure? Because it's negative disc pressure and, 
And one of the ones that, that did that, that's the Nackerson study, okay? And you can look that up online, doctors, and, and Nackerson will show you. But see, what he did is he changed it from going into the prone position, from going into the Zoom 5 position, because according to Nackerson, in the position that you see the patient now, they have the lowest area. Now, what we do at the certification is we teach all the tables. We discuss them all. Listen, I don't drive the same car that Dr. Barr drives. You know, and Eli probably has a bigger car than both of us. And Dr. Shealy, you know, I've had the honor of working with Dr. Shealy. He is actually the honorary chairman of the International Medical Advisory Board on spinal decompression, of which we have together chiropractors and, and medical doctors. And I'm honored that there are some people on this call today that are on that. I'm honored that my son is on that. You know, Dr. Shealy in, in, in practical pain management, he found that decompression leads to satisfactory pain relief and improved the life of 88% of the patients, many of whom had failed at other conventional approaches. I mean, do you realize, doctors, that according to orthopedic surgeons, there are approximately 200,000 laminectomies performed every year, and that only 20 to 30% of these operations reported to be, to, you know, were reported to be not successful? I mean, those are amazing studies because we know that then the patient has to have more than one surgery. And, and if they're failing, shouldn't we be succeeding? If they're starting to go on defense, shouldn't we go on offense? Shouldn't we take a stand that we know more about the disc? We, it, we're beyond the subluxation, doctors. What you're going to learn at the event in, in Florida, what you're going to learn in, in, in the future is the three things. Perry and I have it down to the three components. There's the capture of the patient, there's the conversion of the patient, and the close. If you can master that, you can master the ABC of the spinal decompression. Bulging or herniated discs are different, but it's a condition when a tear allows this material to push the annulus out against the nerve. A Colorado study in the mid-1990s where they showed you 10 millimeters of mercury, so they're going to get pain. And we know that because all the studies show that. The RMS study shows that by MRI. Okay, so what do you do? You need really to fix the pump. You got to improve the circulation. Okay, so what decompression does through a series of progression and, and, and regression. And each machine uses a different type of algorithm. I'll give you an example. The VAXD uses a logarithmic index. Uh, uh, the DRX, the Excite, uses sinusoidal. Uh, North American Metal uses sinusoidal and sinusoidal and oscillation. And they're the only one to prove. Now, oscillation is a constant reverberation, a mini progression regression. And what it does, it's like creating, it's like milking a cow. You're starting to milk nutrients into the disc and that's very major because in in the study by Schafferman okay and the study by Schunke and the study by Schulte they showed that when you can create negative disc pressure it draws fluids it draws oxygen it draws H2O into the disc which increases the disc height whose study is that Schunke Dr. Schunke is S-C-H-U-E-N-K-E he's an MD PhD and Schulte. Now, what gets better is if you read now the study, the Martin Boxell study, he said that the disc is active material. So we have the disc has the ability to heal itself. This is exciting, and you guys should be positioned there to do it. And if you're not, listen, don't do decompression just for the money. Don't piss me off. Will you make more money? Of course you will. Why? Because you'll get results. Why? Because the community will like you. Listen, am I selling something today? You bet. I'm selling you. You want to make more money, be a better doctor. Get back into the classroom. Start being a master of what you do. Become a master. A master of what you do. When you're always chasing money, doctors, you become money slave. When you can teach money how to chase you, you become the master. Be the best at what you do. Understand there are five components of a subluxation. Kinesiopathology neuropathophysiology, myopathology, histopathology, and pathophysiology. But, you know, so hold on. What does that tell me? That means you cannot have a subluxation without having a neuropathology. So this is where neuropathy fits in. And my doctors charge four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 for neuropathy cases. My son said, Dad, I don't want to do neuropathy for two years. Now he's closing cases at five and $6,000 for neuropathy. Cash, paid in advance. And patients are getting well. Why? Because we know that Lyrica, 
We know that Cymbalta. We know that Neurotin, they don't work. And none of them were FDA approved for the treatment of neuropathy. But we're going to go into that in detail at Life University. You're going to understand that there was a difference. That back pain affects 80% of Americans is up to actually to 85 now. Lower back pain is more common to cause disability. It costs over $100 billion annually. And now I'm telling you, it's up now over that. It's now at $500 billion. Over $20 billion is totally spent on back surgery. And that's up too. Every day, these numbers go up. Every day. Americans undergo more back surgery than any other country. This rate is double that of most developed countries. Remember what, what, what I told you. Okay? And, and then there's the risks. You have the risk of, 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 of failed back surgery. You have the risk of infection. Okay, if, if you go to the study again by De Palma, what are the risks include infection, nerve damage, deterioration of health, and post-operative complications. Fewer than 5% of people with back pain are good candidates for surgery. And who said that? That's by Dr. Kozov, MD, and, and Dr. Margolis. I mean, so if you know the, the Kozov and Margolis saying 5% are only candidates for surgery, well, what does that mean, doctors? You're the 95% are candidates for you. The candidate for your office. But why should they choose you? Why should they go to your office? Because you have to be the best at what you do, doctors. If, if you associate with me, if you associate with Dr. Bard, if you associate with my son, okay, it's not about being good, it's about being great. It's about understanding the course of back surgery. And it's understanding the, the repercussions of back surgery. There's a change going on in, 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 in the world today and, and we need to have, have you, you, you do that. I mean, what, what I'm telling you is that the, the copay is also can be ast astronomical. Okay, so what we want to do is make a change. Make a change. Make a change. And the change, doctor, has to come inside your office. The change has to come in your mindset. The change has to come in wanting to be better at what you do. Because that, that's what we do. Okay? We're looking to take you to the next level, doctors. We're looking to help you really grow your, your clinic and take you to the next level. That, that's what we're excited to do. I mean, we, we want you to be the best you, you you can be. I mean, are, are you willing to do that, doctors? Are you willing to be better than you've ever been before? I mean, that, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I want from you. That's what you have to want from each other. Did you move your camera? Yeah, my picture. Did your camera move? I don't know, Doc. I don't know. Reposition it because nobody can see your 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 handsome face. <laughs> All right, let me let me just check it here. Yeah, your camera went. Yeah, your I don't know if something's blocking. It looks like something's in front of your camera. Something's in front of my camera. Because they don't want to look at my mug the whole time. <laughs> well. So my camera is covered up. Oh, yeah, you can see, oh, there you go. That's better. That's better. There we go. I think it fell down. I think whatever happened, you keep moving it around. I could see your table. Like, it's something fell down. I don't know. Reposition it. Turn it around. Turn the beat around, like Vicky Sue Robinson said. That's how old I am. <laughs> no, that didn't do it. No, I don't, I don't know. Like, you lost your camera. Like, either your camera's showing, but it's showing your, co your cocktail table right now. It's a good table. It is a great table, and it shows why. your thumb, your thumb. So something happened with your, with your, with your camera. I don't know. Turn, right. I can see your like your book, like it's turned around. <laughs> you know, this is the foot. That's why I love these meetings. I love Zoom meetings. There you there go. There you go, baby. Yay! Okay. You know what? It just goes to show you the power of technology. That was you know great. What? Here's what I'm Listen, that's why you have to know your machine. You have to know whether you go five degrees, 10 degrees, 15 degrees. You have to know the weight. Gosh. You know, it's so funny that you have to know what you need to do. What you need to do all the time so that you have to, because technology can change. Watch this. In one instant, I'm live. And the next instance, I'm gone. I mean, that's an amazing thing in the technology and then having the ability to get back and in, in, in doing that. You're so back. was that on purpose? Right, you can see. You can ask, did it, you know, what we have to do, doctors, is, is together, is we have to work together to understand that back surgery is epidemic. Now, do you know in 2008, 
and, and I love this one. A Newsweek article chronicles story of Regent Bruce Wilson, who endured seven back surgeries. Now, I was with two people. I was with a guy by the name of Fred. I'm not going to give you his, his, his last name. We'll call him Freddie B. at Trump. And he's had 12 back surgeries. 12. You know? And, and you know what I learned, doctors? And we talked about this in, in Decatur, Illinois. And here's what you need to explain to the patients. If they lose their back, they lose their freedom. If you learn anything from this today that you want to educate a patient, if they, because let me tell you something. When you go to the mall, people in walkers, people in those little scooters, when you lose your back and you lose your legs, you lose your freedom. And I will tell you, uh, this problem will take your back and legs away. At, team, at John Hopkins University, Stanford University, they found that patients who underwent spinal decompression experienced an average of 74% decrease in pain. They also experienced 70% increase in disc height. Now, that's an amazing thing. Never before have, have we done this. And remember, only chiropractors can remove the kinesiopathology. Medical doctors cannot compete with us in the field. If they have a PI right ilium, right? Now, here's a guy, Tim Kremchek, who I've spoken to on numerous occasions. And look him up, doctors. This is not one of those by an orthopedic surgeon, right? Oh, yeah, we'll get him to say nice things. No, Tim Kremchek is probably one of the three leading orthopedic surgeons in the United States with, with, with Job who's now retired, James Andrews and Kremchek. Most baseball players, football players, elbows, they go to Kremchek. And if you go on our app, which you can get, go to your app store, thiscentersofamerica.com, or go to my son's website, wellingtonthiscenter.com, and you'll see T. Kremchek saying, I had back surgery, I, and I regret it. Tiger Woods. Because people go from back surgery doctors, they go to opioids. And that's the way it is. And opioids are a major problem. So, you know, listen, if you want to get people off of drugs, start doing your job by educating them that you become a disc specialist. Don't just be a chiropractor. You know what's amazing? I bring them in Florida all the time. Most people can't even, most non-chiropractors cannot even explain what a chiropractor really is. Oh, he moves bones and makes you feel better. What the funk is that? He moves bones and makes you feel better? Are you kidding me? Wow. Are you kidding me? Come on. I feel like I'm in sex trafficking when they tell me that. Golfer Jeff Overton. I sat down and I talked to Jeff in such detail. Why? He got a, a spinal infection after an epidural, which, by the way, is not FDA cleared for back problems. He hasn't been on the tour since. He suffers pain every day from an injection. John Hurd, best known for Pete McGowan's Home Alone die. And guess where he had the surgery? Stanford. So we're not talking about, you know, I mean, rotten things. This is, this is what it's, it's become in the medical world. A doctor, I'm so nervous. This is my first operation. Don't worry, mine too. Who's next? Who do you think they're learning on? Are you kidding me? And, you know, and, and so many doctors have a machine and they don't know the difference between FDA clearance. They don't know the difference between FDA approval. They, they'll, 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 you know, I mean, my doctors are welcome to call me all the time. I have Dr. Shoemaker. God bless you, Dr. Shoemaker. You are so diligent in your treatment of patients. She'll call me about angles, about symptoms. She so cares about these people, you know, and that's what we're here to do. We want results, doctors. You want to build your practice, get results. Because failed back surgery syndrome is hurting you. Failed back surgery syndrome, because it, listen, it, it, the enemy, Failed back surgery was when the lower back surgery, and let me tell you, it's epidemic. And when people come in and say, I'm going to think about it, well, you know what? Also think about failed back surgery syndrome. See, when they come into your office doctors and they tell you, um, let me go home and think about it. Let me tell you, a sale is made, I say this a hundred times, every time you confront the patient. Either they buy what you're selling or you buy their excuse. I'm going to tell you, doctors, you want to be dependent on insurance companies? I'm not your guy, because I'm going to tell you something. Right now, they're doing a Zoom meeting, right? The Blue Cross Blue Shield Zoom meeting. Hey, let me clue you in. Hey, I'm here at Blue Cross Blue Shield. How do we not pay those chiropractors? All right, let me go back to, see, you can Zoom in. They don't want to pay you. Let's go back to Blue Cross Blue Shield. I don't know if chiropractic works. You know what? The joint's only charging 19 bucks. Let's pay them 19 bucks. That's, oh, whoa. It's amazing how I'm having them, like, wired. It's like a FISA. 
I have a whole Pfizer thing going on with Blue Cross Blue Shield. I bet those chiropractors are trying to figure out how we can pay them. You see, it's so amazing what we can do in this universe. And I'm telling you, doctors, it's time for you to take a stand. Let people pay you cash. My son gets cash all day long. Doesn't give me any, but he gets cash all day long. I'm over for like a couple of bagels every now. Studies have shown a staggering number that 40% of back surgeries fail. Doctors, they fail. My son will tell you that 30% of his practice is from failed back surgeries. I mean, that's a, because you know what, doctors? After a failed back surgery, guess what? They have two options, more surgery or more drugs. And then drugs, you know, listen, you know, we'll, we'll get into non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, which create almost 100,000 hospitalizations, you know, annually. Are you kidding? Yes. Adverse, look at this, estimated mortality, adverse drug reactions, 106,000 deaths, 12 billion. Medical error, 98,000 deaths, 2 billion. Bed sores, yeah, because they're in the hospital too long. Infection, look at the cost. Outpatients, uh, but I love this one. Unnecessary procedures, 37,000 deaths, 122 billion. Now, in 2006 alone, doctors performed at least 60 million surgical procedures of all types and one in every five Americans. No other country in the world performs as many operations. And I told you earlier that back surgery is one of the number two surgery. That's unbelievable. I, you know what? Does that get you mad? Does that get you angry? And, and I love when the patient, well, I'm going to think about it. Listen, what are you there to think about? Why did they come in and, and give you their knowledge? You know, so I'm going to tell you, I got two things to say. I'm going to my little mini commercial because otherwise my blood pressure is going to get too high. Because I'm going to tell you, you better be, if, if you're a doctor, if, you know, Perry, if, put, put Rayma away. Can I talk to Rayma? I love Rayma. She looks so good. She's there. Rayma was so helpful with the master class. You know, and what I love about Rayma, Perry, probably here's a woman that's successful. Here's a woman that masters neuropathy. Here's a woman that's done so many things, right? And she comes to Decatur, Illinois, and then she's there helping us. You know, what a loving, giving, serving person who, by the way, is second generation chiropractor, and she's master, she's now a master in decompression. Why? I mean, the, the fact that she's even here today and on this call. I mean, Dr. McCabe, I'm proud of you because you know what? Learning is ongoing. My father says the road to success is always under the road to success is always under construction. Positioning the presentation of spinal disc research is based upon your table. You want to know any research done on your table. Who knows that? Your manufacturer. And there's been studies done. Harvard, Mayo Clinic, John Hopkins. You know, and I love the, the Shealy studies. I, I love the Leslie studies. I love the Merzati studies. Okay, so there's so many studies that you need to know and you need to master. Okay, now watch this. This is wild. Go back one, Perry. I got to do that one. Nearly one of 50 back surgery patients dies within three years of surgery. Are you kidding me? The death rate is simply higher when analgesics are involved. Dr. Eugene Carragy, MD of Stanford University, performed spinal surgery only on a select group of patients who may carefully screen occlusion. Less than 25% will be completely successful even after carefully screening them. For the majority of patient surgeries not have a dramatic impact on their pain and mobility. That a patient's prospect for future free from back pain is fairly poor. Yet, now let's talk about the McClure study, doctors. God, look, there's no notes here. Hold on, where, 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 where's the McClure study coming from? McClure Cuddy said that there's a 91 to 92% success rate after a year, there's an 86%. The Leslie study shows after a year. The Shealy study shows that after a year. I mean, what I'm telling you is they get results, but you know what? The fact that you're done with your treatment does not mean you never go to a dentist again because, you know, you people will learn, my clients learn, we don't call it maintenance, we call it retention. After we go through a decompression series, we get them in a retainer. A study in ortho technology review showed 219 patients with herniated disc, degenerative disc. 86 showed improvement. Only two relapsed within 90 days. That's a Dr. Shealy study. I mean, the studies go on and on. You know, and I said, I, I love the, the, the Shunky Schulte study, you know, that, that shows that, you know, that, that the disc has the ability to grow. The disc is 87% water. And I know 
that thanks to Dr. Nackerson that we can now study the disc pressure. This is not based upon philosophy, doctors. This is science. I've been saying for 40 years, chiropractic is not a philosophy, an art, a science. Don't give me that bull stuff. Chiropractic is a science. Chiropractic is an art. And chiropractic, yes, we embrace a philosophy, but we are not a philosophy. We are not a philosophy, and I will not accept that because everything that I do is gonna be science. And I'm gonna talk about the medical sciences and all the things that we can do. Mayo Clinic, significant pain relief, 88.9. Who studies this? It's the Leslie study. But if you look in the corner, it takes time for healing to take place. I, you know, I love people, oh, I'll try it for two visits. Well, you know what? Listen, you know, I mean, it doesn't work that way. Talk about, listen, I say it's about marriage. Imagine saying to your wife, well, let's get married, but let's do a two-week trial first. We'll see if it works in two weeks. Hey, you're either in or you're out. Are you kidding? I tried that with my wife. I said, let's do a two-week trial marriage, and after two weeks, we can walk our separate ways. Yeah, right. Women are much smarter than men. When are you going to realize that? And the patients often are smarter than the doctors. The patients, if you're testing fear, they know it. Contraindications, very important. Osteoporosis, surgical appliance, advanced arthritis, disfragmentation, pause defect, paralysis. I mean, it goes on and on. You know, you have to know what's contraindicated. And where do you get a lot of your contraindicated? From your equipment manufacturer. And you know what? Why do I not recommend used equipment? Because of the FDA good ID, which came in 2016. Meaning, if you have a piece of equipment that you bought prior to 2016, you do not have to meet the FDA good ID criteria. If you bought it after 2016, if you don't have the good ID, you're going to lose your FDA. When you go to court, the first thing they're going to ask you is you have your good ID. When did you buy the machine? You better know that. So if you have a machine, you better go to your manufacturer and you better get your good ID, which means that the machine is still, all the materials that are in that machine are still in it. You can't put, if, if, I'll give you an example. The, the Kennedy table has a, a Metla motor. The North American Medical used a motor out of Germany. Okay, so it's not the same motor. So if you can't put a Metla motor. Listen, if I put a Chrysler motor into a Chevy, it's not the same car. If I put a Mercedes motor into a Bentley, it's no longer a Bentley. And the FDA knows that. The positioning is important. We talk about, and, and, and we go in detail, and Life University, you know, we go through all the angles. We go through whether it's five degrees, 10 degrees, 15 degrees. We go through all the body weights, both lumbar and cervical. A lot of that's taught by my son, who treats cases, you know, all, all, all day long. We talk about the importance of, 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 of an MRI. You know, why an MRI is important. MRI stands for Mr. Real Important. Mom, real important. Ma'am, real important. The MRI is real important. That's what the RI stands for, real important. If you can't diagnose it properly, how are you going to treat it properly? And then you have to know, you know, are you going to get, is, is, is it actually going to be, if you have a standing MRI, it will augment an, any bulge or herniation. So a lot of times people come into you, you should have two centers that you work with. One that does it in, in, in the supine and one that does it weight bearing. So a person said, oh, I had an MRI and it didn't show anything. Well, let's get him for a weight bearing one. And it might show the difference as you're seeing in this picture. You see, what, what I want you to do, doctors, why am I talking about science? I want you to be the best at what you do. You have to understand there's a trials. Now, my clients have an advantage. They can call, they can text me, they can email me anytime, you know? And listen, if you don't wanna be a client, that's okay. There's a reason why we have over 150 clinics throughout the United States now. We are number one in the disc business, number one. And I'm proud of that. And I'm proud of that. And no different than when I was in practice, we've never turned anyone away for financial reasons. Dr. Bard and I have accepted people regardless of the, you wanna be a better doctor, you wanna be committed, Rob Burke, my radiologist, you know, just was, was with him. When, when I was playing golf, if he saw my MRI, I said, what are you doing on the golf course? Who did your surgery? I said, no, we did decompression. Dr. Burke refers people all the time. He's my go-to guy in MRIs. When my wife had cancer, he was my go-to guy. I mean, and, and he is the biggest advocate of spinal decompression. And 
He's the neuroradiologist on the National Medical Advisory Board on spinal decompression. These are not absentee people. Imagine medical people are now leaning to a science that we can master. That, you know, what causes neck and arm pain? Yesterday, I'm on the golf course. Matter of fact, Jason, I know he's on this thing. I believe Matt Moran's coming to your office tomorrow. He's one of makes clubs for all the golf professionals. He's in your office tomorrow. Why? He's having pain in his arm, weakness. So you know what? Why? Because they come up to me because I'm the disc specialist. They don't say, oh, you know, I, I need a crack in my neck. I don't do neck cracks. I, I, don't, I don't do that. Okay? I'm, I'm a doctor, and I'm a specialist, and I take pride in that. And I, I want my clinics to take pride in that. Raymond Wagner takes pride in that. Dr. McCabe takes pride in that. Leo Huddleston takes part in that. The, the, the Mr. Mississippi, we call him. He's the MM of this show. Mr. Mississippi is in the house. Are you kidding me? Leo, Leo, what's for dinner? I'm telling you, Leo hasn't missed a meal yet. And the guy has like a 32 inch waist. He's a former bodybuilder, former champion, total athlete. What an amazing person. Hopefully you'll get to meet Leo in, in November, but there's, there's nobody else like him. I mean, that's the beauty. We surround ourselves. You know, Perry Bard used to always say success leaves clues. And that's important, doctors. So, you know, because you know what? If you ask any chiropractor, what do they want most? They want new patients. But you know what I ask them? I used to say this all the time. How many referrals are you getting a week? Do you have a marketing-driven practice? Or do you have a referral-driven practice? Because if, if you have to just count on marketing, you know, then you're doing something wrong on the inside. How many referrals are you getting? You see, patients should want to pay you. You know, we, we know the difference between a bulge and a herniation. I mean, th this is what it is. And, and you need to have charts like this, which we have in our offices, that we, we give to the patients. You know, th there's a, a great change taking place in, in chiropractic now. Let me tell you something. I'm, 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 there's nothing that I'm more proud of than, than, you know, that I can get on the phone and talk to my son. He had a PGA champion in his office. Now he has one of the leading club makers in, in the United States coming to him tomorrow. Are you kidding me? That he's taking care of people like Sir Nick Faldo, that he's taking care of like all of famers like, like Ken Griffey Jr., Barry Larkin. Are you kidding me? What makes a father prouder? But you know what? I love this about my son. He's not in it just for the money. Now, don't get me wrong. He likes money. He likes it like everybody else. But, but he, 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 if he got 99 people happy, I mean, successful, he'd call me up at that one patient and said, Dad, I'm not getting results in this one person. Dad, it's, it's even, you know what I tell him? If success rates, and the highest study is McClure study, and why is McClure study so important? Because it's over 500 cases, 500 cases. Gaston Nazuski did the largest study, which was over 700 cases, but McClure did 500 pre-surgical cases with an 891 to 92% success rate. Now, that's amazing, but remember this. That means that 8% didn't make it. The good news is, you know, I know in my son's office, we're above 91 to 92. And we're working on now doing a study with Norman Shealy that Dr. Bard and I are, are, are going to work with the International Disc Education Association and pay for it. Listen, Winston Churchill said, doctors, you make a living by what you get and you make a life by what you give. You know, you know when, when you got guys like, 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 you know, Steve Balistracci, when, when a guy like that comes in, he's lost so much weight, the guy looks like great. You know, when I got like Bridget, Bridget was a one person, only did PI, and she's killing it now in decompression. She's killing it now. Why? Because she's a student of the science. And this is not an uneducated woman. Her husband is a dentist. And then not only did she want to do that, she created a product called Mineralgia, and I guarantee you that anyone that emails us after this and they want to get samples of mineralgia, Bridget will send you some samples. Just email Dr. Bard at thegreatestchiropractorintheworld.com, thebestfriendintheworld.com, myhero.com. Well, who's that guy who looks like, who do I tell you you look like all the time? KevinCosta.com. Just go to KevinCosta.com and say, send me the mineralgia and Perry will send it to you because Dr. Bridget Rosenberg and her husband, Sniper Rosenberg, they developed this amazing, amazing thing. And th that's what we're here doing, doctors. You know, we develop a treatment plan based on the number of discs involved. What if it's one disc? What if it's two discs? How do you pull? Do you pull more than one disc at a time? 
Can you pull two discs at a time? What adjunct therapies are necessary? What supports are necessary? Oh my God, Perry, we're running out of time. You know, it's unbelievable what's taking place in this world. <laughs> you know, who's having more fun than us? So, um, so, you know, Doc, I want, we wanted to, there was two quick things we wanted to show you, but then I got a surprise for you guys for hanging out. I got a real, I got an amazing surprise. Um, I might burst through your screen with enthusiasm and excitement and adrenaline on what I'm about to share with you. But I want to, I want to do something special. Really what I want to do is, let me see if I could do this here. Let's see if, let me see if you could do this. Can you see me now? Tell me if you could see me. We can see you, Perry. Oh, how about that? That's not too bad, right? Can you see me now? <laughs> yep, and did you see that projectors fix the hair? <laughs> can you really see me? Can everybody see me? I don't know. Can you really see me? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you're looking, you know, I have, I have a few computers. I going see you fine. But, but um, tell me if you could see this, okay? We hey, can see you. Hey, yay! <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a party. This is a, we got a party going on here. Dr. McCabe, Dr. Brad Hairgord. Look at you guys. Wow. Dr. Balistracci, be careful. Eyes on the road, baby. Dr. Brigitte, <laughs> boy, what a surprise. Dr. Vita, where'd Mariana go? I don't know. There you are. I can only see some of you, but I am so excited to do something right now. Are you ready? Give me a drum roll. That was pretty good. <laughs> if you want to know, really, if you're sitting there and you're saying to yourself, you know what? I don't know. This Dr. Kaplan, this Dr. Bard, they seem a little excited about this stuff. You're right. We are. And the reason we are is because we get a chance to be the fly on the wall every day in clinics throughout the United States. It's actually over 160 clinics as we speak that are Disc Centers of America doctors, Disc, Disc Centers of America clinics. And we get a chance to see the pre and the post. We get a chance to see the worst case scenarios for patients when they present. And the reality is because our family of doctors are trained up so well. Why? Because they're students of this game. I don't know if you've ever heard that term, but Dr. McCabe, you're a student of this game, brother. You are hungry for knowledge. You're hungry for your pursuit of excellence. You are hungry for your commitment to detail on one simple thing, and that is giving the patient the opportunity to avoid Vicodin, Percocet, Tramadol, bad stuff, man. Epidural injections, bad stuff. Microdiscectomies, bad stuff for most patients. Not all, because the reality is when you hear the term 86 to 92%, that means there's upwards of 8% that didn't meet the criteria, number one. Number two, could not be accepted by you for whatever reason. Maybe they had something going on, could have been contraindications, could have been something else, you know what I mean? The reality is, if you look at our lending tree, I had this great talk yesterday with a great doctor in Tustin, California. If you want, give him a call. He's awesome, his name's Greg Salem. He's in Tustin, Southern California, Orange County. And we had this great talk yesterday about penetrating the market in ways that most chiropractors can never ever penetrate their market. And we talked about a brand new lending tree, meaning a way to get patients financed where they couldn't get financed before. And when we talked about some of the finance options, which he had no idea about, he was so, he was so excited. I thought he was gonna like, you know, bust through my phone. And if you've ever seen my phone, it's really high tech. Here it is. <laughs> It's called a BlackBerry flip phone. Wow, high tech, baby, whoa. You didn't know we were playing the game on the large level. October 24th, if I'm you, write this down. We're gonna go right to the front of the line right now because you guys took the time, you took the energy, you took the effort. Let me make it awesome for you guys here today to share a gift from our heart, Dr. Kaplan and myself, and to give you something incredible. And if you're a Dissenters of America doctor, Hold on, baby, just hold on. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. October 24th, go to www.thechiroevent.com. Now, I'm gonna give you a phone number. You ready? Take out a pen right now, 
and write this phone number down. You ready? Now you're ready. Okay, 561. 302. 1871. I'll repeat it. 561. 302. 1871. If you want to know who that is, that is actually Lacey's direct line. Now, if you've met Lacey or you know about Lacey or you know that she's really the the kind of the maestro that orchestrates a lot of things for us because she's the most incredible administrator, manager in charge of doctor relations. And now she's got a whole team behind her because she only has so many hands right now. And even though she's an octopus, she really, she really has some other people helping her, thank goodness. Call her right now. If you are a doctor on this webinar, this Zoom meeting, you say, you know what? I like it, I love it, I want more of it. Train me, show me, give it to me. I don't want any pressure, any contracts. I want nothing to sign. I don't want any obligation. Well, guess what? That's exactly what you're gonna get. No pressure, no obligation, nothing to sign. And if you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, you can ask that other guy who will dictate and determine who gets a chance to be invited into our love fest of doctors? 302-1871, 561-302-1871. If you want a seat, there are four left. Actually, there's three left. And if you don't believe that, I will tell you who it is. And it is, because they just texted me on it. Dr. Jeffrey, I don't know how to say the right name. F R. It sounds like they must have broke up. Freaky? That's a cool name if that's your real name. And I was trying to get in touch with Lacey. I went to the register for the spinal decompression certification training on Saturday, October 24th in Jupiter, Florida. Give me a call back. My office number is, you're in 336 area code. I don't know where that is. She probably already has this message. You already probably, so now it's down to three seats. But here's the, here is the highlight of the day. Dr. Dr. Vito, this has your name on it. <laughs> Dr. McCabe, this definitely has your name on it. And more. In 1984, I was so fortunate to meet one person that was able to instill a passion, a commitment, a love, a heightened sense of awareness on the treatment and the study of spinal disc disorders. The doctor's name, Dr. L. Paul Markey. Now, for some of you that are on this right now, you know who I'm talking about. He was awesome. And unfortunately, he's not with us anymore. But what he did was he created a legacy of a small group of doctors that he basically gave the torch to. I promise you, if he was around, he would be on the International Medical Advisory Board of Spinal Decompression. He'd probably be one of the co-chairmen. I mean, he was large and in charge. And what he did in 1984, was he taught chiropractors. He went to Life University. He went to Logan. He went to Cleveland. He went to LACC. He went to NYCC. He went to TCC. And he would teach this in a hotel near the chiropractic universities. Why? Because this was outside of the curriculum. Remember, the role and the responsibility of a chiropractic college is to get you through your boards so you can get your license. That's their responsibility. Why do we know that's so true? Well, because both Dr. Kaplan and myself have second generation chiropractors in our family. One who's past the finish line, kudos to doctors Jason and Stephanie Kaplan, who are with us right now. Boy, do I got a gift for you right now. You've never seen this. This is so cool. I got goosebumps. I don't know, can you see them? I kind of like, I'm kind of like excited about it. <laughs> In 1984, he taught a class, Dr. Markey, on basically what is a spinal disc herniation? What's a spinal disc bulge? What's a protrusion? What's a sequestered disc? How does the annulus tear? What are the biomechanical positions that accentuate that? What are the angles in terms of how you cause a tear in the nucleus propulsus? With Dr. Kaplan, if you caught it before, when he talked about being in flexion, well, holy cow, you wanna talk about the majority of conditions that are caused by a flexion, 
component to disc herniation. I learned so much from this doctor and he gave us a gift. One of the gifts he gave us was this. He wrote a book. It's called Managing Disorders of the Lumbar Spine. Not a little book. It's kind of a guide, a manual. If you go on eBay and you go on Amazon, I got bad news for you. Unfortunately, you're never gonna be able to find it. It's out of print. Nobody has it, except Dr. Kaplan and myself. We own one of the last few copies of this. As a matter of fact, this is an original copy. It even has, it even has all my little notes in it, because this was my original copy. I fell in love with this book. It talked about the language of spinal disc. It talked about the language of how to communicate why the patient needs to seek out care in your office. It talked about the ability to overcome an objection. It talked about really the research behind spinal disc disorders. Now, dig this. For those of you who are paying attention, it doesn't look like any of you left, so you're kind of digging it. This book was written in 1984. And for those who were paying attention before, when Dr. Kaplan showed the slide of Alan Dyer, this was seven years, seven, before spinal decompression was ever invented. You want to talk about a doctor ahead of his time? So our gift to you here today, doctors, for hanging out, getting the big idea, falling back in love with chiropractic, and your affinity and your ability to be able to take those patients that have determined to seek you out for one reason and one reason only. You are their last option. There's nothing left. If you can't save them, nobody can. It's life or death. It's big. But guess what? You get a chance to be a four-letter word. H. E-R-O, our gift to you, doctors. If you are a Dissenters of America doctor, send me an email. You know the address, write it down. New <laughs> Dr. McCabe, you know, you're the highlight of the show, baby, here today. <laughs> write it down, new patient now, N-E-W, P-A-T-I-E-N-T, N-O-W, write it down. New patient now at AOL.com. If you are part of our incredible family, Dr. Booth, of Dissenters of America Doctors and more, I want you to send me an email. When you send Dr. Campbell and myself an email at newpatientnow at AOL.com, this will be in your email box. Sydney, Dr. Brad Hairgord, and yes, Dr. Jason and Stephanie Kaplan, Dr. Bakur, Dr. Balistracci, Dr. Richter. Holy cow, look at you guys. Dr. Huddleston, Dr. Weymouth. This is our gift to you. We're happy to share it. Dr. Delgado, definitely. Dr. Grayson, our gift on behalf of Dr. Raj Gupta and more. Dr. Brodkin, holy cow. Dr. Cagle, yes, you can hit us up too. Dr. Jensen, Dr. Solinsky, living large in Las Vegas. If I'm you, if I'm you, I'm gonna do everything I can to get my hands on this book. Obviously, there's a lot of you on this. Dr. Salem, so cool to see you too. How cool is that? That are not part of the Dissenters of America family. And guess what? For today, that's okay. You just haven't been given the chance yet. It's okay. Timing is everything in life. But you do have a chance to do something great. And that is on October 24th, www.thecairovent.com. If you secure a seat at that, well, guess what? We will put this in your hands. Our gift to you. No pressure, no obligation, nothing to sign our gift to you. We want to pay this forward. Dr. Kaplan has a fervor, a love, a commitment, and really, really a promise to the next generation of chiropractors. Trust me, with all my heart, he didn't need to be here today. He could have been out working on his golf game. Can you believe he still takes golfing lessons? 
crazy, right? Not that he needs it, right? I said, what are you doing? He's taking a golfing lesson. And I don't get it. You know what I mean? That that's like Mike Trout saying, you know what? I think I need I think I need to go in a batting cage and take some lessons. I don't get it. You know what I mean? I'm still trying to figure that out. He's only given me not one, not two, but three golf bags. <laughs> I'm still working on that little waterfalls, windmill thing at the miniature golf thing. I'm trying to get that down to a science. www.thecairoevent.com. Grab a seat. We'll give this to you. And not only that, we'll give you a bunch of gifts. And if I told them all to you, then I would take away the surprise. What is October 24th about? You, it's the only training that non-doctors, non-family um, members of Descendants of America can come and sit in a room and learn the same information as our doctors, which kind of tells you that we don't hold stuff back, that we want to show you the facts, ma'am. We want to give you the facts. We want to give you details. We want to give you ammunition. We want to give you notes. We want to give you packaging. We want to give you the goods. And hang out and have an amazing five-star lunch, gourmet lunch, amazing chef, incredible stuff. Write that phone number down, 561-302-1871. I'll say it one more time, 561-302-1871. That's Lacey's direct line. Best $99 you'll ever spend. It's the only one for 2020. In other words, the train has left the station. It's very hard to get on a moving train. Can I say something? You have a chance right now to jump on that train, to hang out with us, feel the love, feel the passion, Feel the commitment, walk away with content, tools, information to raise your star power, your celebrity, and really the spotlight on you doctors being the go-to doctors in your demographic. This is for you, Dr. Vito. Yes, your demographic does make a difference, but when you've got all the ammunition in the world to fight the good fight, you're gonna win the battle. And I promise you with all my heart, you can ask Mariana this, that, you'll get more market share after the Cairo event in terms of being able to penetrate your market and to be able to extract patients out of that market. See, that's a dental term, extract. Extract patients that no other chiropractor in the universe can get. Dr. K, do you have some closing thoughts with us here today? You know, in, in, in review, let me give you a few things in review so that everybody knows what, what we went through today. And by the way, Steve, I love your, your little show that you just put on. For those that noticed, Steve Balstracci was out there. He was peacocking in his best. He was showing off his house. He was showing off his, you know, nobody better than you, brother. And I know I, we got an email from them, a text, by the way, Perry, they're bringing five people uh, to Life University. Well, it's about time he started studying again, you know? I mean, that's, that's what happens when insurance companies start to cut back, follow strategy starts to jump back in. And, and that's what we're talking about today is not being dependent on insurance companies. You know, if, if we review today, if I had to review this in, in, in 300 seconds or less, what did we learn? That 6.5 million Americans are in bed daily with back problems. That 5.4 million are disabled. That, that it's the second common reason for hospitalizations. The second common reason that people go to the hospital and this is obviously after cold and flu back pain and the cause is is the number one reason that people miss work cold flu and back pain are why people miss work i mean 87 percent of the back is uh, disc is, is is water damage occurs long before we know from the bog duck study that damage occurs long before the patient feels pain we do know from the American Academy of Neuroimaging that people in their 20s and their 30s, we give out charts in this, they're suffering from back pain. We do know that a bulge is, 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 was a subluxation first, and a subluxation becomes a bulge, becomes a herniation, which falls with, with the Bagdock study. That we know that 83% of all injuries happen when the patient is in the form of flexion. That we do know what's going on. That we do know that 40% of all whiplash cases now now you have more, you want to deal with PI, Bridgette? 40% of all whiplash cases in five to 10 years will have degenerative disc disease. You know, you get new patients not by being a better salesman, by being a better doctor. If you looked at the study from De Palma, 200,000 laminectomies are performed with not a great success rate, failed back surgery syndrome. We talked about anesthesiology news and, and the Odell study. 
We talked about the neuroimaging. We talked about the Ironman study. We talked about the Joel study. We talked about so many studies today in the use, but let me give you my crystal ball. Because here's what the magic eight ball says. <laughs> if you're not doing decompression, you're not doing anything. Hold on, let me, what about the correlation between decompression and neuropathy? One in five Americans have neuropathy. Chiropractors should be treating neuropathy. Are you kidding me? Listen, you want to know what the magic ball says? Then you need to get down to the event. You need to come to Life University. You need to stop shooting all over yourself. There's three types of people. Those that make things happen. Those that watch things happen. And then those that say, what happened? Well, what happened was you sat on your ass too damn long. Come on, baby. Let's get the game. Let's have some fun. Let's get some people well. Isn't it time the chiropractor became number one? Why are we considered alternative medicine? We have, we have the least side effects. We're the alternative. Are you kidding me? We should be the primary reason. I'm the anti-joint guy. I am, I am a believer in, in, in chiropractic. So let's look at the facts, doctors. Drugs are winning. Tonight when you go home, here's my homework to you. Every commercial, it's going to be about one of four things. Booze, food, cars, and drugs. That's the American way. And I love that little voice that says, oh, and by the way, your head could fall off. You could have irritable bowel syndrome. You might need a diaper for the rest of your life. You might never get another erection. But don't worry. Take our pills, and you'll be happy, and you'll have a good life. If you buy into that crap, pals, then you got something coming. So I'm telling you, what does the crystal ball say about Life University? It'll be the best decompression event ever, ever. What does it say about the event? If you're not a winner, you're a whiner. It all comes down to the magic eight ball. So listen, if you want to know about discs, if you want to understand how to do it, if you want to understand how to treat it, but more importantly, like I said, doctors, the enemy of great is good. I give you all credit for being here today. Matter of fact, I give you thanks for being here today. And, and, and Dr. Bard, you know, when he suggested that we do this, you know, we said, okay, because we think three things. One, it's good for our clients. It is. I would tell you that 60% of this room is our clients, and we spent our Thursday with you. And yes, for those of you that aren't clients, you have a chance. And you know, when Dr. Bard brings up a book, it shows you he's been studying discs his whole life. See, we, Dr. Cox has so much research, but you know what? Technology has changed. No different than your telephones have changed. No different than your televisions have changed. Listen, it was not Netflix when I graduated school. It wasn't decompression either. Let's be the Netflix of this world. Let's control it. Let's take it over. So I'm Eric Kaplan saying in about 15 minutes, I'll be eating pizza. And uh, I hope that uh, you'll have a great lunch and a great day. And son, always great seeing you. Balstrachi, you look phenomenal. You really do. Rayma, McCabe, Mr. Mississippi, Lisa Richter. I'm so proud of you guys. Look at, look at, hold on. Look at, look at McCabe. You guys make my day. And you know what, McCabe? You make my day because you know what? When I have a guy like you doing so well, and I'm looking at your office there, I like all the diplomas there. This is what we do. And Bridgette, I'm so proud of you. If you want things, text, text Dr. Bard, the greatest friend in the world.com, and he'll get you some mineralogy samples. Otherwise, go to KevinCosmoLookalike.com, and he'll get you those mineralogy samples. We're having a great day. And what does the future hold in store? Great things for smart chiropractors. Be smart, doctors. Be specific. Be marketable. Be appreciative. Be resilient. Be tough. That's what a smart chiropractor is. I'm Eric Kaplan with Dr. Perry Bard saying God bless you. Have a great day.